M&G's investment business has frozen its flagship two and a half billion pound real estate fund. Brexit worries and the spiraling crisis in the retail property market have prompted investors to flee. Uh, the story behind M&G is a crisis of liquidity. And for that, we go to Danny Berger. Danny. Yeah, Matt, we keep seeing this in UK investments. You have investors who are hunting for yield and they're drawn to these illiquid assets. And we see managers offering those assets in funds that promise easy entry and exit. So when those returns turn sour, we have this problem where investors will rush out and managers might struggle to meet redemption. And we've seen this starting in 2018. GAM was hit with liquidity worries and has continued to struggle since. Among other things, there was an internal review that found its then star manager, Tim Haywood's investments in a liquid debt were done without sufficient due diligence. And then this summer, Neil Woodford's investment empire it was brought to its knees. He had a heavy weighting in unquoted companies that were difficult to sell, and some of which which breached regulatory guidelines. And then just shortly after, in June, H2O funds from Natixis, they were linked to Lars Winhorts. He's a German entrepreneur, had a history of troubled investments. Now, Morningstar suspended its reigning over the fund's lack of liquidity and we saw investors yank billions in a matter of days. And then we come to yesterday when M&G froze its flagship fund, uh, struggling to meet the assets that were being sold, those redemptions having a hard time meeting them. And for M&G, the issue, it really stems from its concentration in retail holdings, about 40% of the fund. And the UK real estate is essentially in a correction. I met with one of the biggest PE real estate investors just the other day who said they are clearly seeing this uh, correction happen. And then when you see investors pull funds from uh, real estate funds for the past 14 consecutive months, it's really nearly impossible to find buyers for real estate assets. And that's certainly a toxic formula with liquidity being one of the top issues on mind for UK investors.